Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. Today I'd like to start by talking about Corsica. Now if you don't remember, we can actually vassalize Corsica right now because um, we, they, we, they just like us enough. They, they would just legitimately become our vassal. Now Corsica is actually much larger than we would want in terms of land, right? If we're going purely expansionist, this is great. It gets us a ton of opportunities, but we're not really doing that. So that's why I initially said no. However, there has been a suggestion made in the comments which makes a level of sense, which is, well, just because we take Corsica, it doesn't mean we have to take Corsica, right? What we could do is we could take what we want from them and then just make the rest independent and send them off on their way, which to me makes a level of sense. Now, I want to check something with this guy right here. He holds multiple duchies, but most importantly, yes, he holds the Duchy of Brabant. Now, this is important because the Duchy of Brabant is this duchy, and that means that we can revoke that independently of the rest of it, which is a great start. So what I think we do is we make him our vassal. There may be a five-year truce. That may be a problem. We make him our vassal. We then revoke Brabant, and we send him back. Now, I don't particularly want Brabant, right? I'm not really that interested in this land. It's like, okay, it's next to our land. Um, I suppose it is Dutch, at least in the top half, so it does make sense for us to hold it, but I'm not particularly, you know, there's no particular reason we need it. It's not coastal land, it's not getting all of our trade port bonuses, it's just like some extra land for us to hold. The main benefit of taking Brabant is I think it will fix our succession problems. So, in general, what it should do with Confederate Partition is it will go, main title goes to the first son. Then it goes down to the second level and it goes duchy one goes to the first son duchy two goes to the second son right so right now we would get holland and he would get frisia now if we were to get brabant what it should do is it should go you get holland i think it would give him frisia and then it would give us brabant but under confederate partition it would create duchies so what i'm wondering if we can do is we can do Holland to him, we then destroy Frisia before the succession happens, that leaves us with Holland and Brabant, so we'll go Holland to him, Frisia to him, and then, oh, sorry not Frisia, uh, Brabant to him, then it will recreate Frisia and give it to us, or it might not even recreate it because we've given away an equal number of duchies, I don't know, I think it would fix our succession, I'm sure there's a way of making it happen, which is why I'm interested. How are we feeling? We're still feeling fine in terms of health. We're, we're not actually that bad. We've got Temperate, which gives us a health boost. We've a rat cut, um, hunting cat, which is helping us. I think we're okay. We could potentially pivot to medicine focus if we need to like survive a little bit longer. But I think we're going to be okay to do this if we want to do this. Yeah, the only real problem is the fact that Corsica have um, 3,000 troops. That's, that's really the main issue, is that they, they have a comparable army. But if we could drag France into our war, that means we double their troop count. We're going to have our troops up here. Corsica are no doubt going to raise them on Corsica. It means they're going to have to raise their troops, then get them on boats, and get them all the way around here, all the way around here, and then all the way up here before like anything can happen. So we could get in here, like siege down Antwerp, and start getting our way into all of this stuff. And I think if we hold it, we would probably be fine. Yeah, I think that there's, um, there's, I think there's a way for us to win this war. So, I'm gonna try it. Is there anything else we need to do before we do this? I don't think so. And I, we have enough money to make this happen. So let's go. So first of all, we have to switch to low feudal obligations. Doesn't matter. He's not gonna be our vassal for long if this works. So, let's offer him vassalage and go speed four. So. He accepted vassalage. He hates us. He thinks we're the worst. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Um, now, I would like to revoke... Brabant. We're at 16%. Now, that is actually pretty good. That's not bad. He's minus 64 due to opinion. How much is a gift? A gift is 150. We have thoughtful, right? We do have Thoughtful, so we get Opinion Gain from Gift Sent plus 100%. I think we can get that up a lot. Yeah. Let's hold on a second. Let's let this go up. 
It's going to be a couple of months waiting. Okay, I could probably go speed 5 while we get money. Right, 151. It, let me just check where he's, how he's feeling about it. He's minus 30, he's at 13% uh, right now. Okay. Uh, because difference in military strength has been recalculated, I think. Send him a gift, that's going to get 138 opinion. Boom. So now, if I revoke the title, 100% chance he'll accept. People will think it's tyranny, but actually we don't even need to go to war, he'll just give us Brabant. Uh, which is great. Now, does he actually hold any land under there? No, so these are all just random people. Wonderful. Great, that's actually perfect. So, revoke title, Brabant, let's do it. He has accepted, so that is now our title up here. So we now hold all of this land. Wonderful news. And then, all we're going to say is we're going to say, Hey, Corsica, uh, enjoy your independence. Yep, see you later. So, we now hold this land. He's gone off. He actually likes us at 100 now because he no longer hates um, us for not having him on the council and having a short reign and all that sort of stuff. Um, so he likes us more, he's he's gone away, and we now have Brabant. Now, too many held duchies is a negative, but let's see how this looks. Now, succession. You get two duchies? Oh. I did not expect it to give away land like that. Huh. So what is done is it's gone, you get a kingdom, you get a duchy. Okay, well he has a kingdom, so let's give you two duchies. That's not really what I expected. Okay. Well, time to try something else. I'm now going to destroy Frisia. Which will generally annoy the vassals, I think, who are in Frisia. But apart from that, does not doesn't really do very much. I actually don't even know if destroying a duchy does annoy them, but let's do it. Destroy that. Now, Succession. Holland. And six more titles. Duchy of Brabant. Look at that. So we only lose a singular title on Succession, which is the Duchy of Brabant. We get to keep every other title. Look at that. That fixes that perfectly. So, this is great. Yeah, this is fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, you might be thinking, hmm, how can he take Brabant? There's no land that he can actually, like, you know, all the land's already held. How's that going to work? Uh, basically, how it will work is I believe he just takes a random title. Uh, it's probably not random. There's probably some way of working out which one it would be. But he'll just take a title from one of these guys at random, and the game won't, like, acknowledge it at all. So that that's basically how it will work. But yeah, look at this. That's... Yeah, well, that's worked a treat. Wonderful. Now, of course, what would be really annoying right now is for like him and his heir to die, and then us have to have to figure out, you know, more more succession stuff. But this is fine. This is fine. We also don't hold too many duchies. Yeah. Okay. I think that worked out pretty much as well as it could. Uh, except for we have a new powerful vassal who wants to be on the council. Oh, his stats are good though. Okay. Um, but everybody is a powerful vassal on my council except for the spy master. Any of you good at spy mastery? No, and that's why things have stayed the same for a long time. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. We, we won out on that. Uh, you know what I might do? I might hold court. We have no money, but occasionally if you have no money, you do get good events in the court. I say occasionally. I kind of mean like very, very rarely. Something must be done about that Franconian outsider. Frisia is a land of many people. All my non-Dutch vassals gain opinion. Cool. Brabant out of control. A peasant woman from the county Brabant, an area plagued by unrest held by my vassal Count uh, Godzello, assures me that control can be restored without unshoot bloodshed. So we'd say, sure. You're right, what we need is excessive bloodshed, or do what you can with this. Sure, let's try this. In ancient times, my lord, I'm a genealogist, and a, and you are aware you're of noble origin. However, noble is not quite the same as divine or mythical. 
A desire to write a scroll which shall trace your complete lineage back to the dawn of history. Um. Okay, we can gain renown, or I can pay this for court grandeur. Uh, I'll just say I don't need a piece of paper to tell me that. Sure, that's fine. We didn't get any money, but we also didn't spend any money. That's good to, uh, for me. See if we have anything else in here. Negotiate an alliance with you? East Anglia. I think I looked at this before and I went, why would I do that and how are you related to me? Yeah, that's fine. We also have a few knights, I just noticed. That's not ideal. Uh, we got anyone we can marry into our court? Let's have a look at this here. Uh, court, we're looking for unmarried. Adults who are uh, unmarried. Oh, wow. We have quite a lot of unmarried adults. Uh, only a few who could actually drag in knights, but, you know, we should probably marry them all off. So you. Uh, let, let's get you in here. Let's go with that. That's a uh, hail trait. Sure. Low chance of children, but, you know, he's 56. It's low chance of children anyway. He's about to die. That's fine. You. Uh, let's go for inheritable traits. And we'll just pick people. So, like this person. There we go. That's going to drag intelligent into our court. Medium chance of children. Absolutely fine. Uh, next. You. Um, it, there's a good trait. Medium chance of children. Let's drag him into court. Who's next? Uh, next is you. Um, there we go. Medium chance of children. Let's drag him into court. Next, Augusta. Um, well, there should be zero chance of children, so we'll just sort by prowess. And we'll drag him into court. Yeah, we know there's going to be zero chance from the outset here. Um, Isbora. Why don't you marry her? A medium chance of children. We're getting a lot of beautiful people in court, apparently. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. You? Let's see. Ooh. We can grab a genius and drag them into court. Just checking that they're not... Oh, you're actually... Um, you're kind of related to us. You're a granddaughter of Prince Arnold. So you'd be our grandniece, maybe? Um... Also, I just noticed this granddaughter of Prince Arnold. Your father is his jester. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> so, what what he did is he made his son-in-law his jester. <laughs> That's uh, quite funny. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that one. And then Wendell Moat. Uh, you can marry. Sort by prowess. For Arnie. Yeah, you can marry Ar. Oh, wait, wait. Clear, clear Arnie? I just noticed there was a better person there, I think. Yeah, there's uh, Garibald. Yeah, he, he seems better because he's got Herculean. Yeah, let's drag him into court. Medium chance of children. Ma oh, matrilineal. Make sure we actually do it matrilineally. Just realized that means the other one's going to leave. You're going to leave court. <laughs> yep, just realized that. Okay, well, that's fine. Court Grandeur went to level 6, though. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. That's fine. Um, this guy died, so the alliance has expired. Who took over Great Moravia? This person did. They are completely unrelated to me. Okay, cool. Uh, find characters. You're betrothed, that's fine. Uh, suppose we might as well do the child thing that we do occasionally and just check that they actually have educators. You have a guardian. I'm not too worried about who the guardian is unless they're actually uh, somebody who is going to be in charge. But it's nice to make sure they have a guardian. Yeah, like this guy should have a guardian. Doesn't really matter that there's no real purpose to it, but that's fine. Learning. Um... Yeah, my wife can be his guardian. That's fine. And then there's nobody else here. And then what we should probably do is we should probably check our heir here. He's 10. Does he have a guardian? He does. However, his guardian sucks. He's stuck in a diplomacy education. Let's see whether we can... I can't even offer him an education. I guess I would have to offer you an education. I'd have to say... Yeah, offer guardianship. Um, 
I have to choose who is going to do it first. That would be our wife, probably, if we're looking for... Let's see if we can do genius. Uh, genius. I guess our wife isn't eligible. Oh, has she already got two people? No, I think I just have to wait a second. For that one to go through. Just wait for that to happen. My court tutor's gone. I'm waiting for the ward one that I... The educate child? Yeah. Yeah. That's... That, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong person. Am I? Um... I was looking at his wife. That would explain why I couldn't find the person I was looking for. Okay, that would explain it. Okay, so genius. So what we want to do is we want to say offer guardianship. So now genius should be available here. Uh, genius. Really? Hmm, interesting. So she's not eligible to educate someone outside our, our court. That's not us. Yeah, she's she's not eligible by the looks of it. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll clear that out then. Well, why don't we go with... Let's just find somebody with high diplomacy who's also got... Yeah, like Shrewd, although apparently you're ill. So let's choose somebody who might survive like 10 seconds. Let's choose you. Right. And these are the only people I can suggest on this side. Hmm. I'm not really a huge fan of that. Okay, so then how would I get somebody else to educate you if I can't ask... I can't say get someone else to educate. No possible guardian exists in his court. Yeah, I guess I just can't get anyone to educate him. Yeah, it's just not a possibility right now. Because I can't do it via his leash and, and his father, and I can't do it via him. So, yeah, as far as I can tell, I can't do it. Uh, let me try... If I go offer... See, offer ward is us offering up someone. Offer guardianship ourselves. Yeah, see, it's only these three. And that's with defaults on... Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. There's no way for us to do it as far as I can tell. So you'll get whatever education he gets. Also just noticed we have all of these. So we get individual alliances within Great Moravia if we wanted to. Um, you know what? Sure. Let's send these off. Why not? Uh, do I want an alliance with our niece-in-law? You know what? Sure. She's not at war right now. Let's get an alliance with our niece-in-law while we're here. Right. Let's go. So grabbing all the alliances. Good. Right. Clear those out. I think we're in a good spot. Um, what's next on our list? Kind of sorted. Yeah, we also have more alliances than cents. Um, I guess our next on our list, I'm looking in here, so these are kind of done. Next on our list is probably to upgrade all of our trade ports, I would think. Yeah, so that's going to cost me 225. So that's kind of next on our list is wait for 225. Papacy, you want to give me money? Um, where, where's give me money? Ask for gold. Need 250 and I need three years. Okay, so yeah. Really not a lot to do, just unpause. We're happy with that. Uh, you want to give me 50 gold? Thank you very much. Very much appreciate 50 gold. Achievement unlocked. Delusions of grandeur. What? What is this? At least six levels above your expected court grandeur. Oh, I did it. Okay, I didn't even realize we were going for that. Right. Uh, so now we're here. Look at all of those bonuses. That's why we got the... Is that why we got the extra knights? Or do we now have 18 knights? That's quite a lot of knights. Anyway, uh, so now we're there. Um, we're also getting something else from it. Yes, we're now getting this. So we're getting plus uh, 0 0.2 development growth in the realm capital per month. So quite a lot of extra development, extra renown. This is fantastic. This is a great position to be in. Okay. Yeah, I like it. How many knights do we have available? That's the whole reason I went in here and had a look. We have 14 out of 14. Then the, the plus 4 is due to that. Okay, yeah. So the plus 4 we got was due to that. It just didn't calculate till now that we'd gotten the achievement for it. Okay, cool. 
That's fine. Why is our development growth in the capital just while we're here? Um, our development growth right now sitting at one per month. Okay, and we're getting an extra um, 0 0.5 from centralization, which is what we got from the learning tree, and court type. So, yeah, we're getting half of our monthly growth from these two things. So, it's pretty significant. Uh, also, I just realized, now we have this land. Yeah, I was just checking the development of it. Because this is Dutch land, so I was just checking that this is all fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, Rhinelander, we could convert it potentially. Just seeing what level we're at with all of these. What's your development with the increase? So your development is 4.3. Okay. With the guy on it helping. But still. Yeah. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, there's not really a lot of point in adding them in. Although it would raise our development overall. Because it would... Um, these are higher than the average. Or higher than our lowest value. So it would move the average up slightly. But yeah, I don't know. Um, we could also switch, yeah, I was just thinking if we do that, we have to switch it, incre uh, increase development in county over, like if we went to do this promote culture, so that's probably not ideal, we'd be probably better off integrating them or something if we wanted them, okay, interesting, uh, don't think there's anything else we need to worry about there then, it's fine, okay, cool. Uh, how are you looking in terms of number of troops? You have 6,000 troops right now. We're allied to this person, who has 1,000. Who is where? Um, just want to find him. Oh, right, up there. Fair enough. You're allied to this person right here. Ah, it gives you 2.3. Yeah, so they're still fairly strong. Yeah, even if we think our troops are stronger, they're still fairly strong right now. Once we get France, we could probably take that as well. Oh, yes, I remember. I had something else on the tip of my uh, tongue that I was trying to remember what I was looking at. I just want to check the De Jure Kingdom map mode. So I was trying to see if there's any De Jure drift that will happen. No, okay. So this won't. This isn't De Jure drifting right now because we don't hold the Duchy. By that meaning, if I hover over here, right now the Duchy of Brabant would become a De Jure. So as in... Um, People would recognize it as being part of, naturally, the Duchy of Frisia. Duchy of Brabant would become part of the Kingdom of Frisia in 99 years. So basically, in if we were to hold this land for 99 years, this land would no longer be the part of whatever kingdom it's part of. It would be part of Frisia. I think, is it Lotharangia it's part of right now, or is it part of France? Um, it's Lotharangia. It is indeed Lotharangia. So actually, this might de jure drift anyway, if we keep holding it, because what should happen is it'll be part of Frisia. We'll get France, and it will still be part of Frisia. Ah, uh, you know what? The de jure drift will reset, because what will happen is we'll get France. It will then say, okay, well, now it's going to start becoming part of France, because France is the top tier title. And then when we switch it back to Frizzy, it'll go, ah, oh, nope, now I'm going to reintegrate it into Frizzy, and it'll reset to 100 years. But effectively, we can start drifting things in there. And why is it important? Well, it's important when you hold two kingdoms, like when you hold Frizzy and France. Um, that will determine where it splits, like for, for one. So it could be like, um, like on succession, let's say that we have one son gets France, one son gets Frizzy. What it will do is it will say, okay... So everything that's de jure part of Frisia will go to one person. Everything that's de jure part of France will go to the other. So if it's de jure part of Frisia, then it will go with that title, right? So, yeah, it would be useful, but I, I think the chances of us living another 99 years are very um, slim. My alliance with this person has ended already. I guess the alliance was through this guy. In Great Moravia, that's how we had this alliance the whole time. I was like, how did we get this alliance? It's all because of this Great Moravian thing. I completely missed that. Because I forgot we have a family line through there somehow. Okay, anyway, we expired because he died. So, that's fine. Um, nothing we need to worry about. We could repair that, but there's no real reason to do that. Uh, oh yeah, people were telling me about this reforged thing. 
the things we were trying to reforge the other they were saying like oh you can only reforge personal items uh, the ones I was trying to reforge the other day were the Wolf's Fangs and the Bejeweled Scriptures, and those were the ones it wasn't letting us do, and those are definitely personal items into court items, so I don't know why it doesn't let you reforge these two. And we can check it right now. You see how it says it has no reforge cost? All we can do is repair it, right? So, for some reason, these can't be moved over. I guess it's because there's no equivalent uh, court item. So the same with this, there's no equivalent core item this could be moved into. Just an interesting one there. Okay. Right, let's unpause. Uh, actually, what have we got here? Your master uh, mail maker. That's actually not too bad, because we don't have that piece of equipment. Oh wait, let me just check something. Do you have that piece of equipment? Uh, he does not. Okay. So yes, this would actually go this would go uh, very well. Okay. Let's go. Let's sponsor him. It's going to cost us all of our money, but I think that's absolutely fine. It will get us a bonus that we were previously not getting at all. Hey, we're rat free for another five years. Fantastic. A huge health boost is lovely to have. What's this? Overstaying their welcome. My court has become renowned for the luxurious level of hospitality on offer, and guests here often prove useful. On occasion, though, we do have redundant guests at court. One such hanger-on is Arden, who has been here for some time as a guest of King Conrad, and seems to um, eat enough for twelve. Wait, is a guest of my? This person is a guest of my son, who is not even in my court. All right, I can let her stay. Uh, I lose stress because I'm temperate. Yeah, extravagant host, which loses me 1% income, which matters almost not at all. And then she likes us, and she moves to stay at my court. So she's a guest who would then move to be in the court, which then moves this guy to be... He's already in my court, so he would already be a knight. Maybe he's not already in my court. Oh, he's in King Conrad's court. Wait, they're both in King Conrad's court. Oh, Okay. Um, yeah, that's weird. Been here for some time as a guest of King Conrad, but King Conrad isn't in my court. I guess because he's my heir, it's a little bit confused. Anyway, whatever. I'll, I'll take her. I, that also gives us this guy. Sure. Right? Did that work? Wait a second. I don't think that actually... No, they both just stayed at his court. It said move to stay at your court. I guess when it said your court, it thought we were King Conrad, not King Wolfhard. Okay, weird. Anyway, doesn't matter. We'll move on. We're making 8.3 a month. That's fantastic. Inspiration, request for funds. You want 50 gold. Sure. I'll give you the 50 gold. It doesn't take us very long to get out of the negatives here. Um... These two people are now married. Oh, the mother of Petty Queen X uh, Tilda. Okay, I'm not really that worried about that, honestly. I'll be out of debt in a couple of months. A motto for the ages. Um, I can hear my knight Oleg muttering to himself from across the hall. When I needed something great, something epic to make my creation stand out from the uninspired masses. But what? Just what? My lord, what an amazing idea. Just perfect. What do you think of adding your family's motto to your commission? Um... Sure, I'll take the Renown. Although, wait, if I take this, I, I have the... We're going to get the Piety and... Let me work this out. When can you give me gold? You can give me gold in two years. I'm going to get uh, 50 Piety in two years. Yeah, I'll take the Renown. Thank you. How much is it for our next Renown upgrade, out of curiosity? Uh, it is... Yeah, 250 away. Not even that. That's, that's pretty good. Also, this thing's falling apart. Wonderful news. Defending against the tyranny. Now this is a great war for us to be seeing because um, they have all these special soldiers. So the fact that they have a war against the tyranny, all that's doing is it's just draining that special soldier count down. It's great. We love to see it. Evening meal almost stuck. With a cough and a splutter, I reflexively clear my airway. The evening's meal is lovely, but perhaps too lovely as I choke down a little too fast. I choke it down a little too fast. Calm, I urge myself. There's no call to rush. I'm really enjoying food lately. That's a little worrying. I don't really know what that event is. And I always assume if I don't know what the event is, someone's trying to kill us. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't really want you to have an intrigue education, I'll be honest. That sounds like that would just lead to bad things. Let's give you a martial education. I always feel like giving someone an intrigue education is just inviting them to stab you in the back later. Hey, we have money again. Wonderful. There's not really a lot we can do with it, but we have money again. Also, just checking. Yep, everyone's still a powerful vassal. Alright, cool. So we will chill. Learning perk. Um... Scholarly circles, learning per level of devotion seems good. So we're currently at 17 learning. Just realized I could see that on the left hand side here. We go up to 21 learning. It's not bad. It's a nice little increase. Definitely means we'll win uh, chess competitions if we get into any. Because I think that's learning, mostly. But anyway. My lord, look at that metal. Never seen such fine quality before. My knight, Oleg, breaks away from our market procession to accost the merchant selling the coveted item, ecstatic over his find. With this, my project would reach new heights. I could create something truly marvellous. Please, my king, bestow this gift upon me. Okay. Um, 90 gold. We can gamble to get it for 20. Uh, we can just simply seize it. Or do you think I'm made out of money? Well, I don't have any money. Uh, but we are fairly old, so succession is coming soon. I'm just going to take it. Well, let's see how that goes. Oh, someone has learned one of my secrets. What secret? Oh, that I murdered Duke Stefan? Yeah, fair enough. Am I known as a murderer? No. Well, you know, I will be. Disillusion faction's gone. It has, uh... Yeah, it's gone. Is dissolved. Uh, your neighbor, King Herbert, has won against Bullion. So it's Herbert of Lotharingia. Okay. You ever notice how he looks very similar to to this guy? Who looks very similar to this guy? Not not saying that there's uh, a lot of inbreeding going on here, but I'm just saying they all look very very similar. Okay. Um. Hey, we have a lot of money now coming in. Uh, we've lost our court physician. We now have a new archbishop. Who's this guy? He seems very, very good. He also seems like he would be a great court physician. Because he's actually a physician. Yeah. I, I think this seems like an obvious choice. Yeah. He can hold that role. Seems good at his job. No problem. No problem at all. Creative freedom. This is ridiculous. As keeper of the king's personal collection, I have a responsibility to ensure the quality of your work. You will see it when it's finished, Oleg retorts. You should leave a man to his work when he is making mail fit for royalty. So 60% chance we get higher quality, 40% chance it's lower. Stick to your own duties, or it's time for a breath of fresh air. 50% chance it becomes better. Okay, or slightly better, but it does mean getting rid of him being in charge of it. I think we just tell him to stick to his own duties. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and the mail. Ooh, purple, my lord. Uh, my knight Oleg waves me over to a covered armor stand. He is trying hard to keep professional demeanor, but I can see the fire in his eyes as he tells me his work is done. With a flourish, he rips the fabric covering away, and my eyes grow wide. While the chain links do not offer room for decoration, the masterful work on the riveting sets this piece apart from the common mail. The set includes a crested helmet with a decorative eyebrow piece. The whole armor has been plated with a thick layer of gold. Oh, wow. What does it give me? Two extra knights, 11 prowess? And then 0 0.1 prestige per month, but 11 prowess? That's insane. That's absolutely nuts. That is a great, like, two knights is really good. Um, and 11 prowess is just, look at that. We're, we, we're now at 15 prowess right now. It's taken us from being unable to fight anyone to being, like, top tier. That's great. And we now have two more spaces for knights. Now, are, well, are some of our knights truly awful right now? Yes, but, like, the potential is huge. I love it. Okay. Well, this is a good, uh, yeah, a good purchase. Duke Popo has f uh, formed the Crocio Franconian hybrid culture. 
Okay, sure. It's gonna be down here somewhere. Ooh, what type of tournament is it? Is there a recital formed by, uh, followed by archery? Well, this seems like a great thing to go to next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.